Team World, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to publish and browse websites on a blockchain of your choice using the Apertus client. Uh, for this demonstration, I will be browsing websites that I have already etched on Bitcoin Core, and I'll also be giving a demonstration of actually uh, publishing a, a very simple web page on Mazacoin. Uh, so you can kind of see how that works. Uh, so uh, to begin with, let's just kind of take a look at some uh, websites. And I'm going to click on our favorites and select the this uh, link uh, right here. And as you can see, it looks like a pr pretty simple website uh, with some links and an image. Uh, this is a website that uh, we etched as an example back in 2014. So this functionality has been around for quite some time. However, we've just not really been that good at uh, telling people about it. Uh, I really like this demonstration because I, I felt that it was somewhat like uh, a Rosetta Stone in, in, a, in a way in which uh, it contains both English uh, translations and also uh, Sanskrit uh, translations of the same information. So uh, if this were to exist on into the future, you'll have a pretty good resource here to kind of potentially uh, figure out these two languages if you know one of the one of the two. I'm, 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 I'm assuming it would be uh, English that you'll know uh, more than Sanskrit, but you, know, you never know. So that's an example of a website. Uh, here, here's another example uh, of a website uh, that kind of shows you, uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. Uh, you can even publish uh, HTML5 games uh, using Apertus. And here's a quick Alien Invasion open source uh, game that we stuck on here. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's playable uh, directly in the browser. Uh, that's kind of cool. So, uh, so that's the example of being able to browse uh, uh, websites. And these websites that I'm browsing, uh, this one, this particular uh, Alien Invasion uh, is on Bitcoin Testnet. Uh, the other one was actually on Bitcoin production. Again, you can browse to any of the uh, websites by simply typing in the transaction ID up on the top. All right, so uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Now, uh, let's say you want to publish your own website. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, first of all, you want to select the blockchain that you would be uh, etching to. We'll select Mazacoin. Uh, we want to select an account that has some funds in it. I'm going to select Maza Tips. And uh, since I want uh, people to know who did this, I'm going to select uh, my profile. And I'm also going to select my signature. And the last step is we just need to attach uh, the, uh, the web page. And, and in this particular scenario, I made a very, very, very simple web page that uh, we will etch. Uh, and if you had multiple web pages here, you would just select them all. Uh, there is no file size limit uh, or count. There is a, one limitation with Apertus uh, 0.3.4 is that if you have a website that has uh, uh, hierarchical folders in it, so for instance, if you have a folder uh, images and you have images in the folder and you have a, a folder for your includes, you'll have to pull uh, them out of the subfolder and put all of the files into one big root folder. Uh, Apertus currently cannot uh, uh, publish websites that have uh, a folder structure. So we're hoping to fix that with the 0.5, but for now uh, you'll have to have uh, make sure that it is a completely flat website. So we'll select this one file, open, and then uh, to uh, publish it, you uh, want to make sure that you have enough funds in your account. Here it says it's going to take, it's going to cost about 0 0.000330 uh, Maza coins to uh, publish this page. Uh, it should be enough. We have almost a thousand. So let's go ahead and uh, publish this and see what happens. And so what's happening now? It might be really quiet. Maybe you can hear it. Actually, it was a it happened so fast you couldn't even hear it. But it is actually uh, taking uh, that web page, breaking it into a bunch of 20 uh, byte uh, addresses, and then uh, sending those addresses as transactions onto the Mazacoin blockchain. And it is done now, you, you can see it here. Uh, you, you've noticed that the uh, 
web page index.html is is uh, is not a link here. Like you, you might be used to seeing links, uh, and that's because uh, Apertus knows that uh, files of this type uh, could have uh, scripts within them, and they could hurt your browser, or they could hurt you if you're if you're browsing them uh, unexpectedly, unintentionally. Uh, so it, by default, it filters these out. Uh, you can get uh, items to show without filtering by default by adding people to your trust center. Uh, which is a, a training session that we'll be putting into the video uh, channel section shortly. Uh, but we'll come back to that later. So if I actually want to see this file, uh, I have to bypass the filter. So I'm going to remove the filter and, and I'm going to uh, rebuild the file. And we'll see what happens now. Pressing Control Enter uh, when you hit the uh, uh, after you put a transaction ID in, in the search bar, forces Apertus to go to the blockchain and rebuild the uh, page uh, instead of using the cache. So that's what I just did, and voila, we have a web page. So it's, it's that simple. Uh, go ahead and uh, I hope to see your websites and all of your other kinds of creations uh, getting etched to your blockchains in the near, in the very near future. And if you if you're uh, if you are if you are already etching, uh, however, you and you're on a blockchain that we're not currently monitoring, why not give us a quick shout out? Uh, and you can just uh, get a hold of me directly on uh, Twitter and let us know what uh, blockchains you are currently using, and we'll make sure to add them to our uh, real time indexer. All right, thank you very much for your time and have a great day.